The original model is a Space Marine Terminator Sergeant from the Assault on Blackreach box that's been cut up and combined with Grey Knight Terminator bits and scratch built parts. For primer, I used a paint on black canvas gesso. For the armor, I first used Citadel gunmetal in the recesses of the armor. This will give the shadowed areas of the armor a metallic shine later when brighter metallics are applied. Then I dry brush a layer of Vallejo natural steel on all of the armor. Intentionally, some of the black primer is still left visible to create a beaten steel effect. Next, a blue wash is applied to the natural steel layer to create a cold mithril effect. In this case, I used a watered down Citadel Necron Abyss for the wash. Then, I go back over with another dry brush of natural steel, leaving some of the blue wash steel exposed near recesses and shadowed areas. Finally, a thin layer of Citadel Mithril Silver is applied to the highlighted areas of the armor, giving it a reflective shine. When doing the gold, I use Coated Arms Magic Metal as a base coat. Then a thinned layer of Citadel Shiny Gold is layered on top, leaving some Magic Metal exposed near the edges. Then another thin layer, this time using Vallejo Polished Gold once again making sure to leave the previous layers exposed near the edges. Finally, some mithril silver is used to lightly highlight some of the edges of the gold trim. I try not to give a solid line of silver, just enough to indicate a strong reflection of light. After that, I apply some Citadel Griffin Sutkia wash in key locations to darken and dull the gold. For the heraldry, I tend to keep traditional colors of Grey Knights, such as red, black, and white. For the red, I start with a Coated Arms Brick Red with a Coated Arms Vampire Red. And for the white, I use a layer of Citadel Astronomicon Gray with Privateer Press Mauro White. The Purity Seals are based with Citadel Rhinox Hide, followed by a thinned layer of Citadel Deneb Stone, and a very watered down white along the edges. Afterwards, I wash the entire script with sepia to blend the layers together. The seals themselves are the Brick Red and Vampire Red I used previously on the Heraldry. Without an airbrush, painting the sword takes a while to get the desired effect. So starting with, I use a layer of Necron Abyss across the blade. Next, I mix some Citadel Enchanted Blue with the Necron Abyss, water it down, and layer it on the sword. Followed by a layer of Enchanted Blue by itself. Then I apply a mix of Vallejo Electric Blue with the Enchanted Blue, followed by another separate layer of Electric Blue by itself. Vallejo Sky Blue is then mixed with the Electric Blue to make another layer, and then Sky Blue goes on by itself. Finally, Sky Blue is mixed with some Moro White to create a final layer. After this, watered down layers of the Necron Abyss are applied to key areas to darken the blade. Followed by Moro White being applied along the blade's edge. For the Storm Bolter, the metallics are Vallejo Oily Steel with a sepia wash. The bolter case is painted a solid black with a thick Citadel Eschen Gray highlight, followed by a thin highlight of Vallejo Somber Gray. For the Iron Halo, I decided to go with a warm orange to complement the cool blues used on most of the model. The base layer is Joker Orange, followed by Blazing Orange, Flash Gets Yellow, and a watered-down marrow white on the tips, edges, and face of the skull. The end of the cape has a base layer of brick red, a layer of Citadel Mechrite red, then Vampire red. The base of the stripe is Rhinox Hide, followed by a layer of Citadel Mournfang Brown, a layer of Citadel Joker Orange, Flash Gets Yellow, and a thinned bit of marrow white. The majority of the cape is a base coat of somber gray with repeated thin layers of Astronomicon gray. Followed by repeated thin layers of moral white. Keeping the layers thin helps create a soft transition between the colors similar to cloth. Using a deep red as a base coat on skin will give creases and crevices a warm color as you layer flesh on top of it. The first layer of flesh I use is Tolerant Flesh, followed by a highlighting of Den of Stone on the nose, cheeks, and forehead. 
Then, using a mix of denim stone and moral white, I apply a very light highlights on the tip of the nose and forehead. Finally, a wash of Reichlin Flesh Shade will blend the layers together. The hair is based with Rhinox Hide, followed by a layer of Eschen Gray, Cold Gray, and a few thin lines of Astronomicon Gray. The hair is then washed with Agrax Earth Shade to discolor the hair to a faded brown. Overall, this model took 10 hours to paint in total.